Today's video explains the cost of selling your home. If you're thinking about selling your home, it's so very important to understand all of the costs that are going to be deducted from the sales price so that you know how much money you are actually going to be receiving in the end. You don't want to be in a position where your house is sold, you have the funds, and it's not enough to do what you want with the money. It's not enough for the down payment or for the house you were going to buy or whatever it is you were going to do. We need to make sure those proceeds are going to meet your expectations. Before we get into the topics, let me introduce myself. My name is Odessa Kyleman. I am a longtime realtor in the state of Arizona. My partners and I help buyers, sellers, and investors with their real estate transactions by providing really strong negotiation skills, transparency, communication, and always advocating for our clients to help them meet their real estate goals. It's important to watch this whole video all the way to the end because I want to make sure you understand all of the expenses that go into selling a home in Arizona. After all, the whole point of the video is to know a complete picture, knowing what you'll net, and if you skip any part of this, you might miss out. So the scenario, we're gonna break down each cost using what we call a net sheet. A net sheet begins with the sales price as a credit and then deducts all of the debits or expenses that are incurred in the process come down with the net proceeds of what you'll receive when your house is sold. Now, if you'd like to see a net sheet for your home, get in touch with us and we will provide one given the specifics of your property, taxes, loan, all of those details. Just go ahead and fill out the form below and our team will be in touch. So let's start. Let's put in our $750,000 sales price. We'll say you have a conventional loan and are paying a 5% commission. Let's estimate a $1,500 credit for repairs, 1% for property taxes, and there's your $200,000 balance for your mortgage at 2.9%. We'll use a closing date of May 15th in this example. So when we have all the numbers in, here's your calculation. So selling this house for $750,000, paying off your $200,000 mortgage should net you about $503,000. Now let's go ahead and dive into the details of these costs. Now the first one you see here is your property taxes. In Arizona, property taxes are incurred before they're paid. So if we're selling this house in May, you are going to owe the property taxes from January all the way through into May when your house is sold. The rule is that your title company will contact the county assessor to confirm how much taxes will be due at the time of closing. The standard is that you pay the property taxes when you owned the home and that the buyer is going to pay the property taxes for when they own the home. Now, if you paid a portion of the taxes into escrow as part of your mortgage, that amount is also going to have to be settled up, but we're going to leave that out for clarity here. And when we are creating a net sheet for you, if we have your address, we can look up your property taxes and that'll help get you a more accurate picture. So now let's dive into this next section of closing costs. The first section here is title fees. So there are two key title fees. The first one is for the title policy. The title policy is a charge from the title company to the seller to provide insurance to the buyer to protect them in case any issues in the legal ownership of the property come up after the sale. The next one is the escrow fee that goes to the escrow company for their services. When you sell a home, the escrow company holds the buyer's deposit, gets the loan proceeds from the lender, pays off your mortgage, disperses the funds to you, and transfers the deed to the new buyer. Now let's go on to the other fees. The recording fee is actually a fee charged directly by the county recorder to transfer the deed into the buyer's name. Home protection. Now this may or may not apply to your sale, but it's pretty common for a buyer to ask a seller to pay for a home warranty to cover any major repairs or things that might break in the first year of home ownership. So we've put in a little bit of funds right there for this estimate. Next is repairs. Again, this may or may not apply to you, but when you're in the inspection period and negotiating, the buyer may want certain things fixed that maybe you as a seller don't want to deal with. So in some cases, the buyer and seller can come to an agreement for a credit in lieu of repairs so that the buyer gets the funds credited to them at close of escrow, and then they can use that money to do the repairs however they say fit, and you as a seller don't have to be involved. And interest. Now we have in here an estimate, but the actual amount of interest due is gonna be provided to the title company by your lender. The interest amount that goes here is calculated using your current mortgage balance, the interest rate, and the closing date. Now this amount is normally part of your mortgage payment, but after you close, you're not gonna be making a mortgage payment anymore, so it needs to be included here. 
And lastly, we have the broker fees. Now in your contract, it is gonna specify how much the listing broker receives and how much the buyer's broker receives. So those are all of the fees in our sample net sheet. Now every transaction is different. Sometimes you're gonna see some changes and that's why it's important to have a trusted realtor as an advisor to help you work through this before you go ahead and enter a contract to sell your home. Now, if you're selling to an iBuyer, someone like Open Door, or one of those people that call you up and say they're an investor and they're gonna pay cash for your home, there can be some different categories and different fees. Again, in those situations, it's best to have a realtor by your side to make sure and help you protect your finances and get you the best possible deal. I hope you found this information very helpful, enjoyed watching the video. If you'd like to see a custom net sheet for your home, just go ahead and fill out the form below and we'll be in touch to ask you a few questions and get you the information that you need. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and remember to hit that bell for notifications so you'll know when our next video is published. It's Odessa Kyleman and I'm here to help.